Service is very important to us. So as we were leaving active duty, Mike and I had a simple question. What does our country need and how can we help? And the Positivity Project is our answer to that question. In September of 2001, I was getting ready to graduate at West Point. Jeff was just starting his sophomore year. Then 9-11 took place. Things got really serious really quickly. I was deployed to Iraq in March of 2004. I was deployed twice to Iraq in 2006 for a year and 2008 for a year. I served alongside people from all different backgrounds, all different political views. What was most important to us was the mission and how do we come together to achieve the mission. Throughout your career, you are going to serve underneath the leadership of, and you're going to serve alongside people who maybe don't share the same beliefs or even values as you. And there's that question of, well, how do I function and how do I work and get along with people who are so different? And that's something that the military teaches you how to do from the get-go. After my third deployment, I started grad school at the University of Michigan. And one of the first things that my academic advisor, Dr. Chris Peterson, said is, you really don't want to listen to me for the next hour. Listen to me for five seconds because I'll tell you what positive psychology is all about. Other people matter, period. I'm done with my talk. Chris led a team of 40 PhDs over a three-year period to understand what is character and how does it manifest in our lives. They studied the most influential philosophical texts from across cultures and throughout history, and they found that these 24 character strengths exist in all of us. After taking his class, I went on to become an assistant professor teaching psychology and leadership at West Point. That was an amazing chance for me to be able to take the work that he's done and ensure that it carries forward. And that's when the conversations with Jeff began. We wanted to take what Dr. Peterson taught Mike and bring that to the world. So we just started a Facebook page talking about character strengths and positive relationships. A teacher reached out and he said, we need this at my school. And they took the Positivity Project and started running with it. We started with one partner school in 2015, and since then we've grown to over 800 partner schools across the country. Well, listen, if there's ever a time for a program like this, it is right now. Please welcome the co-creators of the Positivity Project, Mike Irwin and Jeff Bryan, and some of their amazing students from PS57 in Staten Island. It's spreading through word of mouth. And it's spreading through word of mouth because teachers are telling each other about it because it's working. 57% of our students made honor, high honor, or principal honor roll in the first quarter. Our attendance rate is up, our discipline data is down. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think kids are starting to feel better about themselves. They feel valued. They're starting to understand who they are. More importantly, they're starting to understand the, their classmates around them of who they are. We're in education because we care about kids and we love kids. It's not always about test scores. It's not always about a term paper or a midterm or a benchmark exam. It's about are we creating better citizens in the, in the three years that we have our kids here. But then it was like, until I started realizing I was doing the things my trait said, I started being more brave. I started making people happy. I thought about this isn't useless, it's not stupid because I'm actually doing the things it says. Like, I'm showing these character traits. So then that's when I started to actually think about, oh, if this one is love and love is my fourth one, then maybe I might be able to learn something about me that could help me with other people. So then that's when I started to actually start paying attention, start being more engaged, helping other people. And that's when I really started to like Positivity Project. We love the Positivity Project because it focused on relationships and the fact that other people matter. And we know that our kids, if we want them to be successful, our students, we have to teach them how to build positive relationships. Over 130 suspensions down to nine in a school year where our kids want to be here. They want to be here. It's a safe place. It's a loving place. It's a caring place. It's a nurturing place. And so having that common language, we're able to really work with our students they know, I might not be strong in this right now, but this is an area I can grow in. I can develop in this area. I'm not gonna give up my, on myself and just become this horrible person. I'm really striving every day to be a better person. And I think that's where a lot of our kids are. And so when you learn about yourself, you can find what you like and what you need in life and find your strengths. And so it just helps you become a better person. 
Well, Positivity Project I see is mainly about like seeing people's traits and what basically is in a person besides just what they look like. I think seeing that your top trait is like this or that, you really see past what the person just looks like and you really see to who they are. We want students to be able to identify, appreciate, and articulate the character strengths that exist in all of us. And we want them to be able to see those character strengths in books that they read, in movies that they watch, or on social media. And giving them that vocabulary and that real grounding in that through the positive examples is really important. We do want you to learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, but you have to set the learning conditions. And that means having the right classroom culture, the right climate, the right organizational culture at the school level. And that's what the Positivity Project is. It's a strategy to help drive positive organizational culture at the school level. We've been very fortunate to build out a great team of educators. Many of these educators come from our partner schools. And as they retire as principals or as teachers, they join the Positivity Project. So we have these great educators who are building out the resources and making sure that they are applicable to students from pre-K all the way to grade 12. It's an ongoing process of listening to educators who are constantly helping to hone and to refine the content. Transparency is very important to us. That's why we incorporate families through P2 for Families. We want parents to be engaged in this learning with their children. This is not just a mission that we believe in for the good of all of America's youth, but certainly both of us as parents. As a parent, I'm always thinking about what kind of world I want to help create for my children. And to be honest, I'm scared about what's gonna happen in the future. But I believe that if we can build a world where people understand who they are, who other people are, and can build positive relationships that cut across differences, that's gonna be the kind of world that I want for my kids. We believe that the Positivity Project and what we teach in it is something that everyone can agree on. Everyone wants people to have more integrity, more kindness, more bravery. At the end of the day, it is about helping other people to live more positive, more effective, more healthy, successful lives. If every individual could build positive relationships in their lives and tap into their character strengths, we're gonna have stronger communities and a stronger country. Thank you.